December 7th, 1941, started off as any other day. And as the sun slowly began its climb over the Hawaiian mountains, preparing for the day ahead, those on the island followed suit. And they were stationed Pearl Harbor. Sailors and service members too were starting off their morning, unbeknownst of the events to come. Serving aboard the battleship USS West Virginia, Mess Attendant Doris Miller had woke up at 6 a.m. and was collecting laundry when the alarm for general quarters sounded. Japanese aircraft were flying overhead in his attack on Pearl Harbor. Because of his physical strength, he was assigned to carry wounded fellow sailors to places of greater safety, including the mortally wounded captain of the ship. Miller then returned to the deck and saw Japanese planes still dive bombing the U.S. fleet, so he manned a 50 caliber Browning anti-aircraft machine gun, shooting at planes overhead until he ran out of ammunition and was ordered to abandon the ship. For his actions that day, Miller went on to become the first African American to earn the Navy Cross. Doris Miller represented the honor, courage, and commitment necessary to protect and defend his shipmates and serve his country. He was steadfast in the face of adversity, unwilling to be simply a bystander. The story of Doris Miller teaches me that we all play a role to make a difference, and that's something I believe in. I live and fight because my shipmates in my country need me to. My name is Petty Officer Second Class Freddie White, culinary specialist, and I am proud to carry on the legacy and the courage of Mess Attendant Doris Miller. <laughs>